the ambitious push to amend the 1987 Constitution is gaining ground, as the Senate, which was previously called about it, now says it will take the lead in reviewing the proposals to amend the Charter's economic provisions. On January 15, Senate President Mig Zubiri told reporters that he met with President Bongbong Marcos and House Speaker Martin Romualdez on January 5. Zubiri said he raised concern about the supposed People's Initiative to revise the Constitution. The President agreed with us that the proposal was too divisive and asked the Senate to instead take the lead in reviewing the economic provisions of the Constitution. In this way, we can preserve our bicameral nature of legislation. This is a completely different tune for Zubiri. He used to totally disagree with proposals to change the charter even just for economic provisions. Zubiri himself has now filed his own proposal to amend certain economic provisions of the 1987 Constitution. Senators Sani Angara and Loren Ligarda are co-authors. The Senate's proposal only includes amendments to the operation of public utilities and education services. No political provisions whatsoever, especially term limits. Here's the thing. The Senate wants to ensure that the House adopts its version of charter change. Zubiri says it's a way to rule out any amendment besides economic provisions. Is this okay with Romualdez, who is the main proponent of the charter change in the House? Zubiri didn't answer. But in a written statement, Romualdez thanked Zubiri for the Senate starting its own charter change discussion. However, Romualdez didn't categorically say that the House would adopt the Senate version. Zubiri tries to reassure those wary of charter change that term limits will be off limits to amendments. But critics worry that once Congress greenlights the process, it will be all too easy to go beyond economic amendments and sneak in provisions that will allow government officials to stay longer in power. Bonds Magsambol Rappler, Pasay City.